Okay, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Today, we are playing Stunt Race FX. We are going to have a little bit more of a chill day with this because it's a very simple racing game. Um, and uh, you'll see what it looks like here in just a sec if you're not familiar. I am three hours behind you. <laughs> I'm gonna let the intro thing play because it uh you'll get to hear the music more and it'll show a little like a uh, intro video cutscene whatever. Um, this was a very interesting game from the Super Nintendo era. Uh, am I overclocking the FX chip? Um, I don't know if I'm overclocking it per se. I'll say this much: I tested running it and it runs at the speed I'm familiar with. So because I'm doing this with Bizhawk, because I found that ZSNES doesn't do it correctly because it's not accurate, so the game plays at, like, hyper-ass speed. Um, if I don't know, then I'm not, most likely not. Um, but like I said, uh, it, I'll, I'll ask this Coolio, should I? Was it gonna actually, like, make a difference in the sense that, like, does what does that do? Because this is a game from back in the day, much like Star Fox uh, on the Super Nintendo, it's got, you know, look at the graphics of it, but because of that, it only has so much frame rate. Um, the Super Nintendo can only handle so much. Um, but for its time, it was very interesting. Just because you can go 3 doesn't mean you should. Makes it smoother, base on you probably wouldn't like it. That's the thing. If the base game, um isn't like that, like if I'm playing it on an actual like console thing, if it's not like that, I don't I don't want to turn it on then. I want it to be like the experience I know. And this this the pixels here are probably causing some bad distortion with the the, the bit rate. But uh, we're gonna go through basically just uh, the, the main campaign races or whatever. There's there's uh stunt tracks and battle tracks. I don't necessarily care to show off all that. We'll see how long it takes me to beat the uh, the main game. Um, you've got three different cars to choose from. Now, this is the one, the four-wheel drive, this is the one that my brother and I always played because I would just see the stats. Strong body, okay, that's good. Fast acceleration, that's good. 100 max speed, eh, okay. You look at the coupe, okay, medium body, medium acceleration, 120 max speed. And then you got the F-type, which is a weak body, slow acceleration, but the highest speed. High speed may be nice, but honestly... I'm probably just going to stick with what I know, because this is what we always played with, and you can win with any of them. So, I maybe the coupe, if I, if I start like losing for whatever reason, just to try to give myself some better max speed, but I think we'll be fine, hopefully. What's funny is you can actually uh, put in your initials, so we're going to put in my gamer initials. Because you do actually save times and all that. Doesn't look terrible. I mean, it's... I would say this is an improvement over Star Fox. And don't get me wrong, Star Fox was revolutionary for when it came out like that. But I feel like the frame rate in that especially gets hurt. And the the the, the graphics are very, very simple. Where this actually has maybe a little bit more uh, of a look to it. So, we're going to start off with Novice. Cars with the Eyes looks like those cars from those commercials. Yeah. I like the look of it. It's kind of silly looking, but uh, it's got a charm to it. Zoom out the camera here. I hate having the camera zoomed up uh, right up your ass. You need to be able to actually see. So you have uh, a boost meter, which you can refill by grabbing these uh, blue pickups. These red pickups will uh, replenish any damage you take. Now, I'm just grinding the walls a little bit there, but if I were to actually crash hard into one, um, I could actually take some real damage. and. I forget exactly what happens when you when you completely take uh if you take full damage uh I mean you'll lose but like I can't remember if the car like explodes or anything hopefully that won't happen to us um and they give you lots of pickups for them so if you're familiar with the game like you should be fine yeah I'm pretty sure it explodes but like I can't remember what it would look like people will show it off when all is said and done and a thing that I'm almost certain of is. Turboing absolutely helps when you're uh, using, like, especially when you're using, like, L or R to sharp turn. You will drastically... So, this is not, I'm not, not going to turbo. You can see by doing that, I drop down, like, to 80 miles an hour. But if I hold the turbo as I do it, it kind of helps somewhat sustain me. Um, 
as well as if you're going like uphill, it's good to do it. But once you're on a on, on a flat uh, road and you're already kind of like topped out in your speed, I don't think there's actually any point to uh, holding the turbo anymore because it sounds like your engine will make you know it's gonna rev higher. But if you actually watch the speed, it doesn't look like it actually like makes it go anymore. So like I'm gonna find a part where I can just show that. I get to, uh, we'll get to the, the straightaway here, and then I'll just like hold it the whole way, and you'll see it's gonna just kind of top out. Well, that's probably a bad example, but see, after a certain point, I hit my max speed, and I, I can't go over. It. And even if I just let off the turbo, I'd stay at the max speed if I'm just driving straight. Because I, I point that out because as kids, we would just hold the turbo even just on a straightaway because it just you hear the engine it makes it sound like you're going faster but i don't think you actually need to but i'm not 100 percent sure about that because you want to conserve your turbo where you can if you don't need to actually use it but at the same time don't be afraid to use turbo you are meant to use it in this game you do have a time limit but as long as you're not crashing everywhere you should be fine i have to reset the camera every time You point that out, Captain. Uh, I, I was like, wait, what? Because it was honestly like at the beginning of the video, it was like a two second blurb about like, oh yeah, there's this game. I'm like, wait, game what? Which I was like, oh, that's actually kind of cool. I don't know if driving over the, I don't think driving over the water does anything to your speed, but. I like how when you're in the tunnels and stuff, it echoes differently. It just kind of adds to, like, the actual, like, I say realism of it. And then when you turbo, it just sounds like it, it amplifies how intense it sounds. Do it for Feptoberfest. I don't know. We'll see. No promises. I still have to honestly figure out ultimately at the, uh, at the end of the day. Oh, God. Um, my full list, what I'm going to do for, for Feptoberfest. There's no two-player mode, unfortunately, in this game. Although, honestly, if you try to do two players, I don't know if the game would just explode on itself. Uh, but it was one of the uh, few disappointing things about this game for, for me, personally, is my brother and I liked playing it, but we could never play it. Uh, well, actually, you know, I say that. There is there is a versus mode for, like, battling each other, but not, like, just straight up, like, doing, like, like Mario Kart, like, campaign, you know, racing. I keep saying campaign. What am I thinking of? A cup? I don't know. Whatever. Campaign's more like... That's like an RPG thing. All right. You need to get out of here, dude. Honestly, the biggest reason that you, uh... Will have trouble with this game and, and lose is because... You try to, like, overcorrect and, like, just... You, you start to, like, completely lose control, like... You kind of have to have like a, a somewhat like a gentle touch in a way where like don't overcompensate your turn like too hard and and don't be afraid to slow down a little bit to avoid just completely smashing into the wall because when you when you get when you hit the wall and it like disorients you and it flips you around like you will lose a lot of time just flip flopping all around the, the, the walls look that he almost caught up there yeah it's kind of like something out of a uh, RC from Toy Story not quite as detailed in the art, though. So now, in between uh, the four tracks in the middle, you get to do a bonus, which you technically can skip. Um, I'm not sure. I guess maybe if you just really don't care. But extra time, but more importantly, extra cars, as in extra lives. Now, you don't drive your car, though. You'll drive this big truck that your car will hop into. And we'll see if I can handle it. Because I don't remember... How sensitive it is. It is also slow as crap, so we're gonna turbo because oh my god. Oh, it's infinite turbo. Oh god. Now this is like this is where like <laughs> this is where when you overcompensate way too much, uh, when you turn, you'll turn too far to the right, and so then you try to compensate, and then you swerve, and then you do this, and then you're doing exactly what I'm doing, which is not ideal because you're missing all the time posts but 
I don't really care so much about the time. I more so just care about completing the lap. Now, I think if I take the shortcut, I could probably get barely two laps in and get two extra lives, but it's fine right now. For this first one, it, it doesn't matter. You don't, you really can't earn too much extra time, even if you were hitting all of them. You really only get so many seconds. It, I feel like the extra car is the main thing. Half the time I would just ignore the, uh, them and just make sure I make, finish the lap. Now this course here, Sunset Valley, this is my favorite track in the whole game. There's only so many tracks, but two reasons, one, I like this music the best, and then two, this is the one that my brother and I used to compete on for, uh, for best time in the, uh, time trial. It's not a complicated track by any means, but just, the music does it for me. And then just the competition with my brother, uh, helped, uh, sustain that. You also get to see something interesting happen uh, in this track a little bit later. It's like the one real turn in the entire course. Because coming back to this as an adult now, it's like, it's like, oh man, yeah, the track is very simple. There's hardly any turns, but it was just my favorite. I need to use turbo to get up this hill and maintain speed because the F type's gonna be right up my ass. I always like the little uh the eyes they they circle when you uh when you pick up Hey! Douchebag! Supra Mario Krat? That's a messed up raw hack. You'll notice the music slightly changes on the third lap. The instruments, there's something that, that it tweaks a little bit. But not only that, I'm gonna miss the turbo. Watch your head, because they have rocks that come absolutely, like, they, it, it will nail you. If you're not uh, looking out for it. Oh, here comes me grinding. First time through, you're probably gonna get hit by that because you're just gonna be kind of in the middle of the road and then it's like, what's that noise? Bam! And then your car goes whoa, whoa, whoa. Fairly okay, even though I didn't grab that boost. No, I've never heard of it. <laughs> it sounds like a fake, made-up game to me. I think Night, the music for Night Owl is, I wanna say this is my second favorite music track. Look at all that extra time. You can only carry over so much extra time too. But again, time really shouldn't be a factor. It's an actual game? Oh my god. Whoa! You also pay attention to the, uh... God, I'm... Oh god, see, this is what happens. You can get really spun around. You look around at, like, the billboards and all that stuff. It's it's typical, like, video game stuff, and Nintendo just, like, advertises itself. Uh, besides their logo, I'm not... I can't remember if there's other, like, games or Easter egg things that... Oh, yeah, you can see Mario. Oh, God! So, that, ha that can happen. You hit too hard, not only do you take damage, but you actually, like, explode uh, into pieces. <laughs> I might have to actually slow down for uh, those turns a little bit. Who's honking? Who's honking and how can I honk on my end? 
Is there a honk button? I actually don't know. Clown car behind me. Aren't they hunting? Oh god. Oh. Oh, get off the wall. Okay, that's a problem. And we're fine. We'll get some leeway because we're on novice. We'll we'll make our mistakes here so we don't do it in the later tracks. Up until now, I haven't had to actually, like, let off the gas or anything, but here, I think I'm gonna actually have to lose, uh, slow down a little bit on those turns. Exactly. Look at all that rendering. Yeah, look at the render distance. <laughs> Shit just magically appears. It keeps, like, messing with the, the, the rank position. I don't think it's because, like, he's actually near enough to me. I think it's, um... On certain turns, the game just somehow is losing track of who's actually in front. Kind of weird. Yeah, no, no, no Lakitu to help put us together. We gotta put ourselves together. There, the plane drives up. Uh, drives. The plane drives over us. Again, it's just neat little details about the third lap where things change, um, whether they functionally make a difference or not. It's just, it's just kind of interesting. There's Fox and Kirby. See, as a kid, I had no, uh, for this game, I had no concept of slowing down. It's like, no, always hold the gas. If I'm not always speeding, I'm doing it wrong. I might have to see what kind of game that is, Captain M, before I actually consider playing anything. I'm, I'm always up for uh, funny ideas, but uh, it's got to be something that I actually care to play. Remind me to, like, look that up. Because Magus confirms it's an actual game, but I question uh, <laughs> the kind of game that it is. Looks cool, not sure if it beats Mario Kart F-Zero. I would say those, those are better. That's what I say, it is it is an interesting game. I have a lot of fond memories of it, but yes. If, if I had to choose, I'd take Mario Kart or F-Zero over this. Look at that, rank first, baby. Now, we need to clear the classes. I'm trying to think, do I have to get first? I think I have to get first. There is something we actually can unlock. So, novice is complete. We'll move on to expert now. King's Forest. And again, we're gonna stay with uh, the four-wheel drive. I'll only switch if I really feel like I'm having trouble, but I feel like if we beat it with, with, uh, with this as kids and as an adult now, I should be able to be better. Now we've got some uh, morning fog here. And this is where my memories of the tracks uh, will start to uh, falter because I remember that first uh, cup or whatever you want to call it uh, pretty well. I really don't remember uh, the other tracks. So the mini map is going to absolutely be uh, critical. are honking again back there. Hurdy, hurdy. Look at that crowd. Look at that, that mishmash of just pixels. Fuck. There's even a Super Mar Mario 64. Of course there is. I just had a random thought. I wonder if I can drive off that bridge. I don't know if it would block you from doing so. I don't know if you can fall off. I 
imagine you can't. It's got to be blocked by uh, a wall. An invisible wall. What the hell even hit me? I was hit by a phantom. I, I, I looked away to the chat for a split second. I could swear he passed by me, but he, he didn't, like, touch me. Did I just get hit in a drive-by? Like, what the fuck? I need to grab that. No, you stay back there, dude. Oh, that's a tree. You swear these games did. I I believe you that they exist. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you if you say that they're fun. <laughs> Might be fun for you guys watching me. I don't know if I'd have fun. <laughs> Damn it, Alexander, not you two. <laughs> I mean, if everyone, if anyone's, well, I'd say if anyone's watched AVGN, you've already seen most of the plumber game. But you know what? Maybe not. Maybe actually quite a bit of it's actually edited out. I was going to say, we've already seen that game, but I guess maybe not its entirety. I can't remember. That's it, that's not one of the games listed for Twitch that's uh, not streamable. Is it? Twitch has a, a, a relatively small running list of games that are not allowed on Twitch. I can't remember if that one's on there or if that's just my mind projecting that. Oh, here I go. Here I go off the map, guys. Oh. That's right. I had the question. Wait a minute. What happens when you drive off? That's what happens. There's no Lakitu to save your ass. You just straight up lose. Plumbers Don't Wear Ties is banned. Okay, so I wasn't just imagining that. That's right, and that's why I feared these sections. It was like, I don't care if I lose some ground there, just make sure I don't go off the deep end, quite literally here. Um, <laughs> like how you can hear, like they like ambulance sounds like, uh-oh, <laughs> one of the racers went into the drink. <laughs> We're not equipped for this. <laughs> Like, I will literally let off the gas just to make sure I'm not overshooting on those. <laughs> Don't drive off. <laughs> it's true. Look, he do, he's, he's busy enough over there with the Mario Kart. He ain't got time to help out over here. It's not his department. It's not his job. Well, at least we got to show that off. Let's just not show that off again, because I cannot afford to. Nice and steady. Again, light movements. Don't just suddenly jerk the steering wheel, because that's when you're going to completely disorient yourself, and then you're going to flip floppy flop off the map. There aren't too many tracks that have, like, this thing here. Uh, so at least, for the most part, falling off tracks isn't, like, a major thing. This ain't no Double Dragon 2 on falling off everywhere and dying. Bam! Get that out of my way. Right now, it's the coop that's up on my, my grill here. I got boost, bitch. Also, since when have you ever given me a bad idea, uh, a bad game to stream? <laughs> Is Custer Revenge banned? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> 
Is it if you're just giving sex ed class? Yeah, we're gonna turn it... <laughs> I don't think you guys need me to, guy to teach you guys about sex ed. <laughs> if you do, we've got problems. Also, I don't think I'm qualified. <laughs> Unless you guys really want me to. Going the shortcut route. So we're gonna try. To just bust out a bunch of laps and get like two two extra lives. I don't care if I'm grinding, I don't care if I'm missing things. I just wanna make it. As an adult, this is significantly easier because I have a much better concept about how much to turn. Ignore the grinding there. I don't really care if I'm grinding. There you go. With the shortcut, you can just squeak out two laps. Well worth to get the extra cars over the time. You did it. You saved that blonde's plumbing. <laughs> I can jewel pee pee go in popo. <laughs> well said. Class dismissed. Or I should say, any questions? While we're at it, this is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> any questions? Oh, it's like we're in, uh, what's that F Zero stage? White Land 1 and 2? That's what this feels like. What the hell? Sabotage? Oh god, snowman! I wonder if I can plow through one of the snowmen. Oh boy, here come the humps. Oh boy. As an adult, I'm much better uh, at grinding. Absolutely. High school, that was nothing. I'll show you some real grinding. That was me on the dance floor. I lied. I didn't go to dances. Oh God. Car, please! Reorient yourself! Fuck! Ow! So I didn't grab the turbo. We're actually in trouble. A little bit. There might be some of somewhat of a catch -up mechanic. They don't seem to just like completely pull away. Ooh, I barely grabbed that. Now, while on YouTube, Captain N, they do have things where certain content is allowed if it is for educational purposes. I don't know if Twitch would follow the same thing. Also, people, uh, there are people on YouTube that really try to skirt the line and, and basically bend and break that rule. Look at the Snow Sage from the Mario Kart. I haven't played either in a long time, so I couldn't tell you. Oh god. Uh. Oh, that's right! Oh my god, there's boulders! Good thing we just defaulted to the middle there. Gotta keep yourself on your toes. Because not all tracks on the third lap throw new stuff at you. Um, which, uh, like, I just, like I just said, kind of keeps you on your toes. Because it's not like, okay, every third lap you're always just on the lookout for, like, where's the death trap? They don't all have that. You know what I also don't remember? Do I have to get first on every race? What if I come in second? Is that It's not like a Mario Kart where it tallies up points. It doesn't seem like that. I think I have to get first, don't I? 
I don't know. I actually really don't know. Oh my god, this place actually is called White Land. What? I didn't even notice it that when we came into it. It literally is F-Zero. Alright, Night Cruise. I don't know if there's a fast start timing. Uh, unlike Mario Kart, um, I don't know if this has it. And if it does, I have no idea what the timing for it actually is. Ooh, I want to be on the inside there for the turbo. Just random. They're, they're, the idea of hazards in this game are just like some boxes and uh, snowmen and construction uh, things. Cones and barricades. Just a little bit of let off the gas. Oh, I was going to hit that box. Uh, no, I have not heard of that YouTuber. That's familiar. Uh, I whatchamacallit, since the game is free, um, I added it to my Steam library. Uh, because I heard that, uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, as much of it was kind of like a meme joke thing, is actually like a pretty decent, fun game. Uh, somewhat short, I believe, too, right? It's, it's only, like, what, maybe a couple of hours long. Um, but, like, I, when it came out, like, people were talking, like, there's actually the Sonic game, well, they, they made this, and it's actually good. I'm like, wait, really? I might actually check it out at some point. Bam! Oh, it just makes it a little... Make a funny sound knocking it over. Yeah, bec because people were saying, oh my god, because people were saying it's actually like good, it's like, okay, I might have to actually check out and see what this is all about. There's the sound I wanted. More cartoony sound. Now look on the mini map. Look at how far back the other racers are. Besides the F type who's right up my ass. Shit. Keep grinding, keep grinding forward. Straight forward, straight forward. Woo! Got a little lax there. What are you talking about, Coolio? Are we talking about Monopoly? I see building things, petty competition, f uh, and, and table flipping. Sounds like me. Ten thirty-seven oh nine. Is that good? Is that bad? I have no idea. It's probably bad. Now, we've cleared the novice and the expert. But, there should be one more unlocked now. I don't know if it points it out or not. It doesn't. What's interesting is, I saw somebody uh, on, on a, a video for one of these things comment, they never knew that there was more to the game because the game gives no indication that you've unlocked Master. But it's there, and we're going to do it. And we're going to probably fail once. Uh, because now I'm going to have to really pay attention because I don't remember how hard this is actually, uh, uh, this one is. I figured as much, Coolio, but still, I saw three key things and my brain immediately thought, you talking about me? Micro Machines? Oh, we played Micro, we rented it, uh, at one point. 
Uh, we played Micro Machines. Wasn't that on the NES, though? Or at least the one we played? Okay, I remember the music. You don't need to hard turn on these. Alright, alright, douchebags. Bagelstein. Fuck. Okay. Oh god, why is my time so low? Oh, is time actually a factor on on the master one? Why is my time so borked? What the hell? might have to actually care about our time. Oh, God. The course itself isn't anything too... What the fuck, dude? It's just plowing into me. Barely holding time. We can't, like, we can't screw up. Shit. Whoa, who's making noise? We got an animal out of the side there, it's causing a ruckus. An elephant or something? I'm gonna actually need to have some of this extra time to spare. Fuck, I missed the turbo. Yep, we're okay though. We'll carry that time over. I don't know, Captain. Sometimes people just like to hate and post comments like that for people. I don't know. I feel like it's just a big waste of time doing that on the internet. <laughs> but that's how, that's just how the internet be. Uh, big Ravine is... I think this also this is also the... the, the has the same music as uh, Sunset Valley. Um, I think it's similar to it. It might even be a variant of the course. I have to avoid last in speed tracks. You can finish as low as third in advance. Oh, okay. Thank you, Magus. So it's just don't be last and just don't run out of time or explode. Got it. But for the thing I'm thinking of, I don't know if I have to get first or not. We're gonna make that our goal regardless, but... Oh god. What even happened? We got all like tangled up. Really, Mag is great. That makes me feel that makes me feel so much better. I refuse! Oh god, here's why I lose. Oh, 
Honestly, this is where the extra time is going to come in handy. I just need to clear. Also, I'm having trouble catching up to this full front. Hey, look, the sun's coming out. Everything's all right now, guys. more than I'd like to for that part, but let's make sure I at least clear it. That's gonna hurt. Oh, I got lucky. Yeah, we're not getting first, but that's okay. Oh god, we might not get- Oh, come on! Really? You fucking gotta be kidding me, dude. How did that even lose control? Literally the last turn, too. And it had to spin me around and around. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, That is so annoying. Never played, uh, Bug Riders. God damn it. We're gonna do better now, though, now that I know the course. <laughs> Dude, I'm super upset about that. I told you, though, when you spin out, you can spin out hard, and it just, it fucks you. Like, you just don't want to spin out. Also, I just actively noticed, like, consciously realized. Look at the rain on this, guys. Man, look at those lines coming in. Look at that rain. Look at me missing that turbo. Oh, uh, was it the hump? The, the little hill? Is that what made me mess up? Or did I just get lazy? <laughs> Crowd control win. This game? Fuck it. Doesn't exist. Bug Riders is a game to play if you're in the mood to be punished. <laughs> Fucking kidding me, dude. Turn around, turn around. Ugh. Now I gotta catch up, which I can do. It's just 
gotta do it here. No. Shit, I might actually be in big trouble. That turnaround really, really fucked my day. It's very misleading how much I'm catching up to. Shit, I might actually be fucked. I do remember, like, as at least as a kid, having trouble with the Master One. It's like, well, now I'm remembering reasons why. Yeah, I can't catch up. I can't. I can't make a, a big mistake like that. The entire one. Like I can. I can get tossed around a little. I can't get fully turned around like that to where I'm just completely dead. Stop moving. Actual progress and spun around. Oh God. Basically, I'm going to have to be perfect. Fucking hell. Okay, well, we get one more shot. We got to make it past the stage so we can get to the bonus round and earn back some lives. Yeah, I mean, because even though this is like, you know, oh, it's like 3D rendered polygons and graphics and all that, which is interesting. It's like they can only do so much, whereas with pixel graphics and all that, you know, Mario Kart... They, they're, yes, it's not 3D and all that, but they can draw in so much more detail uh, into it, rather than having just all this bland, flat textures for things and solid, solid colors, you know? It's better for me to just really slow down there. Really take it easy on that hairpin. All of them. If I mess up like that, just let off the gas. Just I gotta reorient myself. To make sure that I don't just like flip myself over. There, I need to just let off the gas early enough before I actually hit the jump, so I'm not taking the jump at just max speed and then overshooting the turn. But now that I know, it's like, okay. touch. It's okay, it's okay, all right. Just take the hit. Go, 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 go. That one hit me dead on. Wow, look at how much... Okay, hold up. He instantly just rocketed away from me. I call bullshit how fast that was just then. I know I don't toss you, but he just like... He has... His acceleration isn't good. Why the fuck can he just insta-rocket? Like, I feel like that's just slingshotting him ahead of me. God damn it. I think I'm fucked. I 
I can't give up ground, and I just, if the rock hadn't hit me directly, and maybe just have to, like, reform. It's not over if I can just barely get ahead of this fuck. Fuck, I needed that boost. God damn it, game. I actually got really close to catching up there. Shit. Okay. I figured I'd, I'd run into... If I was going to run into trouble, it would be on this, uh, this cup. God damn. We'll go again. This one is the actual last, uh set of tracks, though. There isn't an another one after it. Fucking hell. Yeah, that one's, that one's brutal. You, it's, you don't have room for error. Not as the four-wheel drive, at least. Yes, I could try changing cars, but I know I can do it. I just, I have to not... I think for those rocks, I need to be more on the outside? Where was it hitting me? Wasn't it hitting me on the inside? Whatever the positioning is, I just need to not get hit directly. If I really feel like I'm having too much trouble, I mean, I can try changing to, like, the coop to give myself at least a more balanced, uh, set of stats. Um... It's just, I'm the most familiar with the four-wheel drive, which is why I still want to use it if I can help it. I want to be the very be best. Unless I'm not, and then I'm going to rage quit. Uh, yeah, ru yeah, rubber banding. Like, it's... Rubber banding, slingshotting, like, it just felt like, yeah, I know he has better top speed, but, like, he just instantly, like, okay, I'm next to him, we took a turn, S he just slingshots forward, like, instantly, completely out of my view, which I just felt like, okay, that's just the game doing that. That's the idea, Magus. That's the ultimate goal. It's okay. The other two cups we were... We, I, I refer to them as cups. You know what I mean. They were, uh... They were, like, easy enough. There's gotta at least be some challenge here. We gotta actually create, uh... A little bit of suspense. I was thinking, oh man, if I finish really, really early with the main track things, maybe I will show off like the other mode stuff that I don't necessarily care to show, but it's like, oh, I can fill the time with that. Well, depending on how we do on this one, it might take longer to do this anyways. Also, to answer your question, uh, Captain N, there are no CCs in this game, but, uh, I mean, 150 CC is just the, the fastest and, and the hardest. This is the hardest course, so, I don't know, I guess this is kind of like the equivalent. Not really, but as close as we're going to get. Okay, let's try again. I'm hoping that the other two courses aren't as tense to complete. Exactly. Harder, faster, deeper. Finale is arguably even worse. Gray. Yeah, 
Somebody get Nintendo on the line. I need help. I'm sucking at st uh, Stunt Race FX. Stop trying to distract me, Anonymous! Yeah, I'd, I'd have to inform them if I called them on the stream, but like, by the way, you're being uh, streamed live on Twitch. God fucking damn it. It's gonna be it again, isn't it? No way to catch up at this point, I don't think. What did? Okay, hold up. It made the sound like I hit something. I clearly didn't hit. I'm gonna re. I'm gonna retry this life. You can. You can. Uh. Retry. Actually, you know what? Fucking. Oh, I'm gonna time out before I can actually crash my car enough. It's like the sound of uh, being hooked up to the machine. Beep, beep, beep. Fucking hell. So wait a minute, wait a minute. There's is there's rocks on lap two and three, but they change position. That one was on the outside. Oh my god, I actually also start off in this back position. Fucking why? God damn it. Is it on the outer? on lap two and it's inner on lap three. I think that's what's getting me confused. I need to really pay attention to the rocks at that section then. Now that's what's really getting me killed is just that. Yeah, the F type can win. I don't I don't care if I'm not in first. That's the problem is that no. Okay, we need to pay attention on the second lap here. Rock should be more on the outside. I need to I need to hug inside, but then switch on lap three. Side. Not too much. Get off that wall. Okay, 
got hit, but at least it didn't cr completely crunch me. Yes, I'm just letting them go by me. Oh, please, after you, sir. By all means. I don't want first place. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, thank God no lightning bolts. <laughs> As if I need that shit. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta uh we gotta get whatchamacallit. Now I'm gonna do this, guys, because just for the sake of I'm going to make a save state. I'm not going to use it if I can help it, but at the same time, I wanna keep this flowing. Not cheating if I don't load the safe state. <laughs> now here I absolutely need to earn cars. Exactly. Cheater cheater. Have a pumpkin and eat it. Is that how the thing goes? Honestly, when I do this, I'm really kind of looking at the mini-map more than anything. I need to, like, know when I need to start sharp-turning this shit. Alright, alright. All right, now we just need to... Can we give up any more extra time? Uh, okay. We'll take the two extra cars. And again, I'm making the save state here after this, now that that's done. I missed one. Oh, man. <laughs> I missed that one. Uh, sky ramp. That actually sounds scary. I don't want to go flying off here. Fall off? Okay, good. We get to go through the clouds, though! Oh. Hey, how'd she get in front? Snuck in through the clouds. Oh, it's a blimp! What passes for a blimp here? Low polygon blimp board. Oh, oh, Star Fox. See, I like the little Easter egg things in here. They, they advertise their own shit, but it's just, it's, it's fun. It's like, oh, it's Star Fox. them, but the arm will be ruined. Oh, I kind of want to see that. Yo, why are you flying so low, Fox? Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. That's when you keep shooting Falco and you say, shut the fuck up. I'm the team leader. You're going to take my lasers and you're going to like it.
Oops, letting off the gas a little too much. Exactly. Do a fucking barrel roll! Peppy, please! You're becoming more like your fucking father. I didn't know Peppy had such a mouth on him. You guys hear that Andros gave all of his minions Ligma? <laughs> Take care of the guy behind me. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, Peppy! You do it! <laughs> And draw Steve's nuts! Oh. I don't think that works quite as well. Yeah, this one is a is much calmer. In comparison! Oh my god! I gotta keep focused and not mess up, but it's certainly a lot uh, less stressful. Here I am getting lax here. I gotta stay focused. Stop turning so much. Alright. Fox's dad died of Pigma? No! Everybody was annoyed by Slippy the most. Fuck that guy. I'd shoot him down immediately myself, and he'd be like, Fox, what are you doing? I'm like, my job. And he's like, no! And I'm like, later, bitch. Alright, Harbor City. Now, Mega says apparently this one's arguably worse. We'll see. Is it worse on the course? Oh, the half pipe section? Oh, is there gonna be a section where I can fall? Several half pipes. Great. I blocked him with my body. Oh, that's right. This half pipe has shit missing. Somebody did a terrible job with their construction of that. Just at least finish third. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it at this point. It's fine. Does this course throw anything at you on lap two or three? Of them? Gotta be smooth. What do you mean now you're bored with encouraging? No, Magus, please. <laughs> Stop it. Where did you learn to drive? Where did you learn to drive? Oh god. Forward focus! That was one of the cars I considered getting when I got my car. Guys, I have only one more year left to pay for my car. By about this time or so next year, just slightly under, my car will be 100% paid off. I did a five year loan crazy to think that it's already been four years, but a lot of that time was uh, done through the pandemic. The 2020, 21 years and all that. That's why it feels uh, so weird. Somebody said Ford Focus. It's not what I got, but it was just one of the cars I was looking at. My old car was a Ford Escort. 98 Ford Escort. The car was pretty good to me overall. I liked that car. 
but its time was up. The first was an 05 Ford Focus. Nice. Well, I may not have a Ford Focus, but I do have a, uh, I got a Ford Fiesta hatchback. In the interim, when I, uh, when my old car was, was on its last legs and all that, having issues, I, uh, I had to rent for a while, and, uh, the first car I rented for, like, a week or so, um, was something else. Fancier, a big luxury car, I, I did not care for a car being that big. Um, and then I was given, uh, a Ford Fiesta hatchback to use, and I was like, oh, it's this little car, and I was looking at it, I was like, I, right, come on, focus, focus, Ford focus! Um, dude, easy! Um, 15 minutes of driving that car, instantly I knew I like this car. Drove that for like a week or whatever, started looking into, looked at other cars and all that, but ultimately, that's the car I got. You know, that, that model, you know. I think a slightly different year, but it was, it's 98% the same. <laughs> You've rooting against me, Magus? Come on now. All these distraction texts. Ferrari F40. DeLorean. <laughs> you were, you were. You were giving me help, but then you tried to sabotage me. You are the heel. And somebody has to be the heel. And we appreciate it. Hey, we got credits. Did I switch to Geico? <laughs> or call JG Wentworth 877 Cash Now. 877 Cash Now. 877 Cash Now. Uh, no. No and no. Now, uh, I'm not gonna stop just yet. We're gonna let these finish out. I wanna show one other thing. I don't care to show 100% of the, the battle tracks. Well, the battle tracks, I need another person. So that's the thing. The stunt tracks, um, it's just basically, uh, um, it's not like a course course, it's like a big arena thing or whatever, and you have to, like, collect all the balloons or whatever within the time limit. They're, like, just, like, fixed, uh, like, they're, like, mission things. You're driving the, the coupe, you're on this course, you gotta collect all of the, the, the stars or balloons or whatever in this time limit go. And you just do that four times, and then it unlocks a fifth one, and you do that one, if I recall correctly. Um... And like I said, the battle tracks, uh, if, if I had my brother around, we could, we could show that off. One thing I will say for that mode, one of the things we used to do is, so these, the, the, those half pipe sections, we used to have dog fights on there. Basically, we'd get it to either end of it, and we'd speed up and play like a game of chicken, and ram into each other, and we would try to knock each other off, or destroy each other, you know, damage them enough, or someone would fall off, whatever it was. We used to have just like dog fights on the half pipes, which is not how you're supposed to like really play the mode, per se. But it's one of the things that uh, we liked to do. It was just our own made-up game within the game. 877-FALK-YOU! 877-FALK-YOU! Call JG Douchebag! 877-FALK-YOU! I don't know if they'll show it in the credits here or not. As like a little sneaky peek. Because... Playing as the four-wheel drive is fine and all. It's what we used as kids. But that's not what we really used as kids. This whole time, it's been it's been eating at me, having to drive the four-wheel drive. Now, do I press start? Yes. Does it show anything? Now, it doesn't show anything. Gonna make another stage just in case. The ram should be saving, but I also should be able to. How can I? There it is. Okay. The two wheel drive, as Magus uh, mentioned. You unlock this by beating all the courses. And you can see from the stats, it's medium body. Okay, so it's not the best body. But it's got the fast acceleration and the top speed. 
but of course you're on two wheels so I would say it handles a little differently but this this is the car that you drive now uh, I think we had to unlock this originally because I think uh, it was originally labeled at the very start I think it was labeled free run which just lets you drive as like the four-wheel drive on some practice course or whatever but now that we've actually beaten the tracks you can play them individually and this is how you can do the time attacks which means now that I'm on the motorcycle what I want it to be on I gotta do Sunset Valley and I gotta smoke this time it is the toughest to control but it's the fastest with the fastest acceleration so, if you're good with it, which we'll see how I handle this, uh, it is the best. This is gonna feel a little weird. Oh my god, it's so much faster! Holy shit! <laughs> Look at it wobble. When it hits, being on two wheels, that shit wobbles. Holy fuck, this is so much faster. But it feels so right. Oh, look at this. This is, this is why. Oh, this bike, this course, time attacking against my brother. Shit. Also, he's not here today. That bastard. see there the time so you can imagine between my brother and I how competitive we are we went back and forth on this course a lot and it was fun now my memory is recalling that I ultimately won out I can't say that with a hundred percent certainty and maybe that's just being a little biased but I can't help but think I cared more and grinded more for this particular game than he did to, to take the best time. When we were kids, yes, he had the best time for Rainbow Road. I only was able to, to beat that as an adult. I smashed it by like four to five seconds, but uh, that doesn't really count for as much. Since I was older by that point. Just listen to the engine. When you don't let go of the gas, it just, it tops out in that noise and it's just, ah, oh, it's delicious. This is the... Oh, fuck! <laughs> this is the game right here. Exactly. Whee! <laughs> Hopefully I don't end up in hell. I might end up on the highway to hell. Now, I'm not going to sit here all day, guys, and just grind this out, but... Let me give it one or two more at least, because, like, okay, let me get used to the bike here. Let me hit a nice, solid time. I want a solid time that I'm happy with. Well, how how much does it need to be? I don't know. But, like, let's let's top this sucker out. We're not going to do it for all the courses. This is, like, the only course I care to do it on. Okay, hold up. We got to do this course, and we got to do the big ravine. We got to get fucked on that course. That one's going to be challenging. Oh, this just feels so much better. This is one of those things where, because I hadn't played the game in so long, it's like, okay, I forgot what it felt like. So driving the four-wheel drive, it's like, whatever. Now that I'm racing this, I could not go back to the four-wheel drive. It's just, no, this is just, oh, this just feels so much nicer. Hear that engine purr. It's not purring, it's it's really whining. Wee! I gotta turn sooner, that's right, on that turn. Ooh, we clipped it only. It's okay. Fuck, I didn't grab that. Well, it's not the end of the world, but that sucks. Fuck, I didn't grab that one. That actually does suck now. Ow, how did that clip me? No! Damn it. <laughs> We've been had. It was not a great lap. 
multiple reasons. You hear that sound? That's me trying to turbo. It's like trying to use the nitro, but I'm out. There, there's something to be said about the games from our childhood. One more time, one more time, because that one, I completely botched that last lap. It's, yes, I do have nostalgia, you know, rose-colored glasses for a lot of things. And I know that, but at the end of the day, it's like, you know what? I don't care. I like what I like. I know. I only had a half-second gain. That's why that's not good enough. I need a proper gain the whole way. It has to be perfect. Just it needs to be better than that. <laughs> Gotta get that sub 530. <sighs> Fuck, we didn't even beat our old lap. I'm a failure. thing is, it's like if I really, really wanted to be getting some real solid times, I'd have to not be talking and 100% and be focusing on the game and not streaming it even. I'd have to be playing it on my own time. Wow, really? I'm really surprised. First attempt wasn't that good. Fuck. All right, there. We gained. We gained five seconds. <laughs> we gained it all in the last lap. Exactly. Mm, 150 horsepower. Mm. Well, each t each lap got better. <laughs> uh, I honestly really do wonder what our time was as kids. I would suspect it's. Could we have gotten sub 150s? Yeah. Yeah. Def. Oh, definitely. If I didn't botch those other laps, yeah. But I don't know what the limit would have been. But let's change course here. We're not gonna go for too much longer here. I'm not doing all the courses, but we gotta do Big Ravine. We gotta see how hard it is to do this one. To do this one fast. Like, how much do I gotta slow down for this? <laughs> you always wanna see me rage, though. Oh, there's one other thing I haven't shown off, and we'll show that off, too. Wow. Grind that wall, baby. Get off. It is very finicky trying to get off. Like, it requires the most delicate touch to get off the walls and grinding, especially with the two wheel. Dude, this is way too fast. Holy shit. You guys can't feel the physics as I'm feeling it when you're grinding on the wall like that and you're trying to, like, hook left and get off like you you overshoot you undershoot you slingshot like an asshole whoa oh my god <laughs> like a pinball so much faster Now it like still bumped it, so it like it physics me over to the left. It may not have been as immediately apparent to you guys, but I felt that shift me over. Woo! All the power in the world, but I can't use it. Get off the wall. I just have to not, like, be messing up. I have to, you gotta keep a smooth, consistent ride the whole way through when you're on the bike. 
Because then that happens. That happens all the time. That kind of turnaround is the worst. Whoa. Well, I'm gonna blow up. I feel like I'm smoking, guys. I'm smoking! It's bad for the environment! Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> I broke my ass! <laughs> uh, that was great. Whoa. Boom! There goes the underside of your fucking car! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, that was great. Uh, was that lap two or three? <laughs> oh, we're playing with power, all right? And it went straight to my undercarriage. Yeah, you can hear you can hear the hammer lamps after. Like, oh, we got another one. Crimity. Crimity! Ow! Bike just takes getting used to with how fast this bloody thing is. Just like keep grinding the walls. God, I'm spending half the time on the wall. Yeah, I have to I have to like slow down way earlier. But I'm trying to go fast. But yeah, I, I need to actually like slow it down more. And I'm trying, it's just the sensitivity of it. And it, because of this bike, I can turn much sharper though. So it's like I can Oh. It's like, I have to slow down some, but I also can turn sh more, uh, sharper, so I don't have to always slow down to the slowest speed. Like, they're like, wow. Ow. Stop rubbing against walls. I'm ruining the paint job. I'm sorry. I'll pay for it, I promise. No. Oh. This is some sloppy ass shit. You know how there's sloppy seconds? This is just sloppy shit. I know I practiced this course doing the time attack as well back then. I just didn't do it as much as a uh, Sunset Valley. Even though, arguably, this is a more interesting course to do it, because it is much harder. I don't know, I also liked uh, the, just getting really good at the, the base course, the simplicity of it, and just really tightening all the turns and everything, squeaking out every little bit of time I could. Oh, we can totally get under three minutes if we do it right. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I've never played the Gran Turismo games, Magus, so that doesn't help me. <laughs> Actually, that's good. I don't know if there's a there's gotta be a reverse button. Probably, there, I think there is a brake button which I just like never use because you don't need to brake. Uh, I don't think you need, really need to. Just letting off the gas at the right moments can be enough. But I don't know. Maybe braking uh, would be uh, the most optimal. <laughs> Going from 120 horsepower, decent handling, to a car that has over a thousand horsepower power, and no handling. Ah. Okay, final attempt. Do or die. Doesn't matter. Uh, we gotta try to get it under three minutes. And, and, we're gonna do it like this. You thought the game was hard. How about in first person? Get your vomit bags ready. Fuck me. Oh, 
fuck? Where am I? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dude, check out the rain that hits the screen. That's awesome. I never played first person enough as a kid. I don't think I knew it did that on this course. Oh, he even flashes red. Oh! I like when the railing disappears. Oh! It looks like I'm about to go over the cliff. You guys know that speed racer meme? He's going over that cliff. Ah! That's about to be me. Yeah, we're totally getting under that three minutes like this, guys. I don't know if there's really any practicality to first person. If you know the course well and you're not making mistakes, ow, 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 it's so much more visceral like this. Um, I don't know if it better would help you see the turns. I bring that up because for a lot of racing games, I prefer it in third person. Zoom out far so that I can see more of the car and more of the track, right? But there are some games where I absolutely have to be in first person. At the initial D uh, arcade games, I cannot get turned fucking around. The initial D arcade games, 100%. I have to be in first person or the car physics, ow, don't feel right. And I don't think it's just me. I feel like the physics actually behave differently um, if you're in first or third person. You'd have to actually play the arcade games to really like know what I'm talking about with the feel of it, but it just doesn't feel right otherwise. So for initial D, it's gotta be first person. For all this, it's gotta be third if I'm trying to be realistically like doing it because yeah, this ain't hot. It's a combination, though, of a tougher track and me just still not being good and used to the bike. And just out of practice. Because I imagine... See, that wasn't too bad there. If you can do it in first person, smooth, that's gotta look cool as shit. Oh, God! It's like getting punched in the face! Ow, 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 I'm just grinding the walls! Oh god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. Aha! Screw you, rocks. Shit! <laughs> Ooh, baby. Ah, that's a fitting way to end that nonsense. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think you, you can't do the bonus as uh, the other cars. I'm 99% sure the bonus is. Uh... Right? Oh! You are just in your thing. Your chosen vehicle. Oh my god, infinite boost! Ah! Ay, 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 ay. Fuck. Always hold gas and turbo. Never let go. Never let go, Jack. Never let go. Oh, that was a pretty sweet lap so far. Whoa. Look at that recovery. Woo, I'm doing tricks! <laughs> oh yeah, also, the retire screen. Um, if you hold L, it slows down. And if you hold turbo, which is like the Y, it speeds up. Speed up! Slow down. Speed up! And then regular. And then slow down. So that's interesting. You actually do those as your car, not the truck. Uh, how do I, how do I, how do I back out? How do I get out of here? How do I leave? Guys, how do I leave? I don't know how. 
There's only one way to leave, guys. And we're... Hold up, hold up. Actually, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. First person on Rainbow Road? Dude, that would be awesome. I know. <laughs> the, the, the vehicles I'm driving, they get first dibs at looking at what's about to happen to them. Like this. Oh, shit. Fuck. I fucked up. Okay, hold on, hold on. We'll do it on the next one. Here we go, guys. I can press select start LNR at the same time to do a soft reset back to the title screen. Oh, and changing the car only changes it here. Yeah, there's like no way to properly go back to the main menu besides, um... Select start LNR at the same time. There you go. Yeah, there's no like back button to get out of it. The only way out is through, through the tunnel. Ugh. Reminds me of the fighting the Polygon team in 64. Oh, yeah! The, uh... Fuck, what do they call those? I know what mode you're talking about, though. Well, that was fun. That was fun for me reliving this game. And, uh, yeah, the Master one... Uh, there's some decent challenge to it, uh, with four-wheel drive. The, the second and the fourth course. Um, now, the fourth course I was able to clear on the first go, but it's like, okay, what's still actually a... Uh, you gotta be careful, you don't wanna... Fly off the course, it's got quite a few half pipes. Uh, but the second, uh, the ravine, definitely, I feel like that's the hardest one. That one, you're actually, like, if you didn't bring in extra time, you are on a time crunch, and it's got some tight hairpin curves, and two laps with rocks coming at you. And you have, like, no leeway, at least as the four-wheel drive, to, uh, to fall behind. Yeah, but uh, wasn't there, like, a, a, some, I'm trying to think of what they, like... You say fighting polygon team, but there, there's another name for for them, or like they were referred to as something else too, and I forget what it is. It's been too long since I've actually really played Smash. But um, anyways, I think that's everything. Again, uh, stunt tracks, battle tracks, whatever. Um, I don't really care. There's no other hidden menu as far as I can see. So we'll go ahead and make a save. But, uh, call it here. Fighting Polygon, suddenly you're back in late high school. <laughs> Jeez. We were the Spartans, and we sucked at everything in high school. Literally everything. I mean, yeah, the wireframe characters. I mean, maybe it's just uh, cruel melee. It's like it, there was like the mode within that, right? Where you pick the difficulty or whatever. Maybe that's just what I'm thinking of. The one where they're just like they're absurdly hard and they just kick your ass. Um. Anyways, uh, that's gonna be it here for tonight, guys. Uh, next week, uh, we should be on. I am debating when I want to do another crowd control. Biggest thing, uh, just to be perfectly honest, for me. Uh, I want Donut to be there. Uh, Donut was not with us tonight. Um, mostly because Emmy-chan especially likes to do that. Uh, but I'd like my brother to be there too. Um, honestly, I'd like to make sure as many of you guys are there as possible. But uh, obviously, everyone has their schedules and everything. So um, I can't like just wait always for the perfect opportunity. But I want to have enough of you guys to have fun because... It's what makes it work, is I need enough people. And then you guys have fun, and I rage, and we have fun together. Um, so I'll put it this way. Maybe next week? It depends. If not, I already have uh, another thing uh, prepped and planned that I could do instead in front of that until we find a time that uh, works for crowd control. I mean, uh, for sure, Alexander, believe me. Uh, that is one I am confirming for uh, as well for Febtoberfest. That one I know I want to do because you uh, you brought it up, and it's like it's the perfect thing. It's like the right kind of game. It's not going to be super long. So like it's going to fit perfectly. And, and I am genuinely curious about how they make fishing into a horror game. Um, a Plumbers Don't Wear Ties isn't a horror game, so chances are pretty low for that one, I'd say. Same for the Flowers of Robert Maplethorpe and Custer's Revenge. I'll tell you what, for those two games, only one of them has a shot of ever getting played. And I'll let you figure out which one. <laughs> 
That's a horror game. All right, guys. That's going to be it for me tonight. I want to thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Uh, Coolio, Captain N, Magus, Moxie, Anonymous, Edge, Alexander. Uh, shout out to On Fire. Uh, and I guess my brother and Donut. I guess. If I really have to, guys. Uh, like I said, we should be on for next week regardless. We'll see if it's crowd control or something different. So, uh, Mega Monday will go up, um, as usual. And, uh, then I should see you guys here next week. So, that's it for me, guys. Thanks, guys, for coming out. I'll see you guys later.